Hi guys, got Christian Knight here again with Let's Play Lunar Legend. I don't know why I paused there for a second. Alright, so yeah, in the last episode, we got, uh, I'd say about halfway through Crystal Tower. And in this video, hopefully, I should be able to finish it up. There is not much more to this. Anyways, here's the uh, intersection right here. Go the right way, because the left way is a dead end, as you can see right there. It just goes to that center path and then dead ends and stuff. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Go up here, another intersection, take the left one first. Look at this thing. Alright, and then follow all the way down, and you'll reach a small room, and it will have an angel ring. Angel ring is a very useful item. Um, let's see. Uh, Mia has an open spot. Uh, yeah, in angel ring resurrects a person. Um, I don't know. I think it only gets like one use per battle. And, uh, yeah, let's just give it to Mia, I guess. But yeah, it's very useful to have, and... God, that battle took forever! And it had just five crystal mirrors, too. Be annoying. Alright, so yeah, go all the way back and now take the right- No! Oh, I hate that when you're, like, right next to the door and it goes like, Neh. Anyways, here's the, um, here's the, I think the last of the enemies that we haven't fought yet, yeah, the Flymets. Uh, let's see, yeah, get Alex to use his blast, maybe, you know take down a little bit of time on this battle. Yeah, like Lightning Magic. Yeah, that is really powerful too. Alright, yeah, I would I would expect that one guy to die. And sword magic! Even though we don't have a sword, yeah. Ta da! <laughs> oh man, it's like every one of Alex's magics is pretty much instant death for enemies. I mean, like, with Nash and Mia, like, they're, it's not like that, but, like, with Alex, it somehow is. I don't understand that, but, yeah. It's like... <laughs> oh, come on! How'd you not die? Oh, well, yeah, they're dead now. Yeah, there you go. And yay, Mia has her arts gods filled up, so... Ooh, two kill guns. And a climate card. That's cool. Alright, so now, uh, first let's heal, because, uh, we did take a bit of beating there. Alright. Well, actually, I hadn't healed from the last battle, that's what I was wondering, like, yeah, but I didn't get hurt that time. Alright, now, there's a door right there, but ignore it for now and go all the way down here, and you'll find a chest that contains 1,500 silver. Now, we want to go to this little alcove door, which leads to this random room here. Yeah, weird, I know. And then... God, I hate interruptions. And I need more healing. Oh, that's it. yeah. Might as well heal up, because big stuff happens now. Hopefully, I don't get into any more battles, because that's going to get annoying. Oh, cutscene. Ooh, ooh. Oh, what'd they do for Luna? Wait, why is Fossey and Royce there? This reaction, this time. What the hell is going on? Still doesn't know, so let's make her sing some more. Hey, how many, how many must we check before we find her? Alright, so some crazy stuff is going on, so let's ruin it! Because that's what heroes do. <laughs> oh wait, the song is Luna singing! Oh cool, okay. Yeah, she is here! But what a sad song! It convey uh, this song convey- uh, pretty, but it conveys only- I said convey three times in my- <laughs> Song! Song! Ooh, I- I- Yes, I- Why <laughs> Remember it's going back, but it's blocked! No, I think we established that back in the prison. Yes, why suddenly? Is Luna's song bringing back memories? Anyway, we won't find out if we go to. Won't we find out if we go to the star chamber? Let's go! Yay! Let's ruin stuff. And the song cuts out. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, Luna. Yeah. All right. So yeah, cool room. Yay. So, yeah. So let me pack off. Mother, and then the weird woman comes out. What's this? We're in the middle of a vital magic guild ceremony. I cannot permit any interruptions. Alex, so you're okay? Of course we're okay. They tried to force me to sing. They said they'd kill you if I refused. She <laughs> out. Yeah, like they, I let them. Damn them. I'll never let you hurt you, Luna. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing. Mother, please stop. You've gone too far. Mia, so you let Alex out of jail. How does she know? I'll not let even the daughter of the guild head, head interfere with such an important ceremony. <laughs> I'll teach you all a lesson. Come, Galleon, you help too. Galleon say something. But, Mother, how could you kill me? Yeah, what the hell's wrong with this bitch? 
Right, please, oh Althina Orb, bring back my kind, bring my kind mother back. M magic. <laughs> How could you disobey your mother? You horrible daughter, Mia. Oh wow, so I guess she's just a bitch. <laughs> she's evil. Mia, uh, Mia, beloved Mia, do not weep. I am here. Wait, what's going on? Ah, oh, plot twist! That's Lemia! So wait, then who, who's the potential song, Wondrous Light, has awakened me? It broke the curse cast by that witch! Witch? Yeah, witch. What do you say? Galia, take care of them. That's the evil one. Ha, let's put an end to this farce. You cannot fool me. Answer me, why are you plotting to take over the magic guild? Oh, he finally shows some balls. Oh yeah, what happened last video? And Skin change! In cutscene, too. Cool. I should have found that one and gotten all in uh, vain. This interruption has foiled it all. I'll make you pay. So yeah, the fortune teller, the head priestess, and the Lemia fake are all witches and they're evil. We can finally make a new world with the magic emperor. <clears throat> Do not forget it. What am I laughing? Wait! Yeah! Play with them! She looks goth now. And enemies! And even though Luna is standing right there, right next to us, she doesn't fight with us. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, this is technically the boss of the Crystal Tower. Uh, yeah, go ahead and figure to Alex, and then Thore, might as well. And since Mia has her Arts Gods, and she's going to be gone for a while after this, Mist Veil, her limit break, very useful when it comes to the more difficult bosses in this game. Uh, I'll talk about once Nash gets in his thing. Yay, not much damage. So yeah, Miss Veil. Yeah, nice little thing in there. So yeah, a little shield comes up. And yeah, that's it. It, it. it doesn't seem like much, but now we're invincible, and it stays that way for three turns, so... Zero damage! <laughs> they can't do anything. Although, this battle is kind of a big waste to use it on. To be honest, you should probably save the limit break for when you get... Like, yeah, Mia does leave our party, I must well tell you that. She does leave after this battle, but you do get her back at one later point in the game, and I don't know, you might you might want to have the, um, the Miss Veil for that battle, because, like, with physical, physical attacks are what uh, power up the limit break, but um, when you use magic, nothing goes, like, see, you see Nash and Mia attacking, but their dodges don't go up. But yeah, you might want to save Mia's for, um, the next time you have her. I'm just using it here just so, you know, just to show it off. But the reason why I'm telling you not to do it is that these enemies, even though this is technically a boss battle and all that, and these enemies have, like, quite a bit of HP considering how we don't have weapons, they are incredibly weak. Like, they they literally cause barely any damage. Like, they, I, I remember in one such a um, playthrough, like, they, they started attacking me, I only suffered, like, two damage at a time. I mean, that's pathetic. And Confuse only works on one enemy, right? <laughs> yeah, I want to try Confuse out, see if that does anything. Confuse, if you didn't really know what that does, it basically turns the enemies against each other. Or if it's done on you, the same. So yeah, he's attacking. Well, see, one damage. They are very weak. The only strong point about them is um, pretty much our HP. And I think three turns has gone up, so now I'm out of invincibleness. But I mean, I've already killed one, That's that lower one is probably close to death, and then... Yeah, let's start using Freezer. Freezer is Mia's individual one-on-one -on -one attack, really. Hey, it worked! <laughs> trying, all, uh, trying out all of Nash's spells. <laughs> yeah, Petrification. Um, as you can tell, it makes the enemies immobile. However, there is one trick that the game never really tell. Well, yeah, look at that, 105. But there is one trick that the game never really tells you about is that if you use lightning, or I should say Thor magic, on a petrified enemy, it's super effective. It's like Pokemon, it's super effective. See, look at that, 124, instant death. Like, he was causing less than half that before he was petrified, and God, like, they never tell you that, but anyways, I never imagined that Mummy was a transformed vile. Let's go back to the guild. I still worry, I still worry about Mother. So yeah, now we have the real Lemia of the four heroes, which is cool. So I went to the Star Chamber as I was told to by the Vile Tribe, and let's admit what I did was a mistake. 
Yeah, opening up. Yeah, a little too late. What do you think the Vile Tribe is up to? Pressing Lemia and kidnapping Luna? Who's not even a ball? We hardly have any information, right? You better go see dragons about all this. I've got a hunch the Vile Tribe will make more trouble. Oh, the dragons. <laughs> yes, first the white dragon, since it's the only one we know about. Oh, Grandpa Cork? Yay, Grandpa Cork. If I can pick his brains, they've all learned. What are you, a vulture? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Had to do that one point. Uh, no, we don't mind, do we, Alex? That means we get to go back to Berg. It's been so long. Yay. <laughs> It'll be such fun. Mia, I'd like to put you in charge of the magic. Lemia's memory still not so good. Oh, okay. So yeah, she gets promotions! Nash, would you like to help me? Okay, sure. It'd be an honor to help however I can. And with that, Nash also leaves our party for the second time. Alright, let's talk about what we'll be doing with, while Mia and Nash are t taking care of the Magic Guild. Alex, you go on to Moravia. I also have something to discuss with Mel, so I'll meet you there. Bye-bye, so Galleon. Thanks for agreeing to guide Galleon. Please help him however you can. We can hardly refuse any request made by Mia, right, Alex? I don't know about you. Ha! Now, get that horny look off your <laughs> Oh my god, it is Isu! It is pretty much Isu from Okami. I don't believe this. Right, Nash, we mustn't keep Galleon waiting. Let's go. Okay, sure, Mia. Yeah, yeah, go. And so now you can talk to Lemia if you want to. I'm Lemia. I know that much, but I don't remember anything else. What's all this about the Vile Tribe and the Magic Emperor? So yeah, she's out of it. That Helmer did a lot more damage than we thought. <clears throat> Alright. It's so embarrassing that we took orders from a fake Lemia and jailed the real one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big bail there. And, um, since this is probably a great place to end off, uh, I'm probably going to cut some stuff out because of the battle, too. But anyways, yeah, this is a good enough spot to end. So yeah, Alex and Luna are alone again. But anyways, this is Guy Christian and I. Let's play Lunar Legend. And in the next episode, we're going to Moribia and seeing Mel again. And then back to Berg and homecomings and stuff. See you later, guys.